It was just incredible. Uh, no feeling out in this one. 19 of 32 from the field. A career postseason high. 51 points. Just the sixth 50-point game in NBA Finals history. Smitty, at one point, he had 31 points on 13 shots in the third quarter. This was also the eighth 40-point game of this postseason. He's now just one shy of Jerry West's all-time record back in 1965. This was Teron Liu uh, yesterday speaking of his star. Um, great performance. You know, I think um, he did everything he could to, you know, will our team to win. Um, you know, he's been doing it all season. You've seen it all season, Dave, of, you know, playing 82 games you know, throughout the course of the playoffs, making big shots, game-winning shots. And um, this right here is just a testament to what he's been doing all year. And he puts in the work. He takes care of his body. Um, you know, he's always doing the right thing. So um, last night was no different, you know, scoring 51 points, you know, eight rebounds, eight assists, and just showing his team on the biggest stage of how you have to play to beat this team. And he did a great job of that. Can he play any better than that? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair question. Can he play any better than that? Because one of the positions people have taken about this series already is that the guy had 51. He was unbelievable. And there's still down 0-1. And, and going into this series, you heard a lot of people saying, man, uh, for them to have a chance to win a game, and they were just throwing out there, you know, LeBron has to get 50. And you just don't throw around the word, right. the number's 50. And, and he did. He came out and he got 50. And you said it best, how efficient he was. What I love is just breaking this game down from, you know, several years to now. The jump shot is something he's very comfortable, man. He comes off, there's no hesitation. And then he's able still to beat guys off the dribble that's much younger than him. And then to dissect the game and obviously have his leadership and make other guys better with his passing ability. Defensively, and obviously he doesn't have to guard I would say, quote, unquote, the best player every possession because that'll just wear him down so much. But then he has to rebound the basketball. He's doing so much. And what does he have to do? I think, in my opinion, I think even dominate even more on the glass to add, add with the points because he's always naturally assist is going to come naturally for right. him. But I think for him is offensive rebounding at his size and his ability. It's going to take more energy out of him, but he's going to have to just throw himself in there and get, maybe have more rebounds where he has more opportunities where it will wear down somebody trying to box out a, Ke a LeBron James, whether it's Kevin Durant, whether it's Draymond, whether it's Klay Thompson. He will not be an easy guy to keep off the glass. And, yes, we're asking for him to be uh, already amazing and to another level. And we're talking about rebounds, and he had eight rebounds. He's been averaging close to a triple-double. It's been uh, just phenomenal. 109 30-point postseason game. He's now tied with Michael Jordan. It's hard to imagine him not getting another 30-point game at some point during this final. So that record is likely you know, to fall. I would love to go in the minds of the Draymonds and Clay Thompsons and, and um, Kevin Durant because it was an all-doubt, Matt. You kind of give him the jump shot when you're guarding. Used and to I be. Think now yeah. the three off the dribble is there. The spot-up three is there. And then also the pull-up mid-range jump shots and touch shots off the glass right now. It was usually donks, donks, and donks. and But now... He's comfortable in every area on the court, man. I, I will know the mindset for somebody who has to guard him night in and night out. What do you do now? Well, think of the evolution uh, of LeBron's game going back to the 07 finals when they almost treated him like a Rajon Rondo. Go under. Sagging off, not only going under, just going under, sagging under. off and yes. challenging him, walling up in the paint, challenging him to take a jump shot. Steve Kerr back on Wednesday referenced the previous uh, Spurs series when LeBron was in Miami when they were still going under the screen, maybe mm -hmm. not giving them the space they did in 07, but going under. And now that's not really an option. Not at all. And you can see now defenders, and I'm watching them, they're like debating going under, then they're starting to go over. And then there's the switch, obviously. But what I love now is he's okay with the switching, even where there's a small guy. You remember the narrative, that why don't LeBron post up? Right. And he's posting up now. He's taking advantage on every aspect of the game. He is definitely locked in. And this is his 15th year. 51, 8-8, eight and, eight, and you don't win. Mm, that's amazing. I mean, he shot a good percentage as well. It, it used to be that he didn't like to post up, right. and he just wouldn't do it when the opportunity presented itself. And now it's just like there's a menu inside of his head of options, and the defense gets to choose the option that he'll go to, right? right. Uh, they set it up a certain mm -hmm. way. Oh, you want me to do this? I'm going to go do this. <laughs> I'll take that. Question will be um, what kind of help does he get offensively? If the Warriors send a second defender at him at certain situations, will guys knock down wide open threes? It didn't happen in game one. Six of 20 
from three-point range on open threes, Smitty. Not all threes. That's on open threes, and that's not good enough. It won't get it done. You, you're right. I like how you reference and preference as open threes, and that's where if you're a Cavs team and you're playing around LeBron James to help him be better, you got to knock down some of these shots because if they're knocking down some of the shots, not knocking down shots, you're not you're not closing out as far, and then also you're doing a, a job of just walling up against LeBron James. If you're the Warriors, I still don't give Kevin Love easy looks. You got to pick some guys, and this is where I think you got to have shooters around him. But this is where T. Lou, it's a chess match. If you have too many shooters, they're not two-way players. Right. You start talking about Kyle Corver, Kevin Love, they play good defense. We have too many shooters out there, then there's no balance defensively for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah, that's the puzzle that uh, Teron Liu has to solve. I would expect more Corver minutes in game two, but defensively, obviously it presents challenges for the Cavaliers.